Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Triforce and welcome to 2018. I'm here at my hotel room, day zero, and I'm here for MAGFest. But today's video isn't about MAGFest actually. Um, today's video is about the top five moments for me in 2017. Um, I want to give a proper farewell to 2017, you know, before we start the New Year's off right with MAGFest. So without further ado, let's get to number five. Coming in at number five, the evisceration of the nameless one. So a lot of people talk about this. This is perhaps one of, people would argue that this would probably be number one for me, but it isn't because I don't necessarily take uh, pride into it. Kind of feel bad um, doing what I had to do, but I'm not gonna let anybody threaten me online or try to, you know, make me look bad. I'm tired of that, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of people saying bad things about me and ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. I wasn't trying to have that in 2017 um, anymore. I wanted to start off fresh, you know, anybody comes at me, I'm gonna handle them. And that's what happened to the nameless one. So he got eviscerated, um, you know, for trying to expose me and make up all these things about me or whatever is it that he wanted to do. And I encourage anybody, don't let anybody cyber bully you. You know, give them the electronic hands if you possibly can. So, you know, that's just a reminder. Going to 2018, the gloves off. You know, you come at me, it's a wrap. All right, coming in at number four, spending time with the Empress. Now, Sasha is the love of my life um, now. Uh, she's my fiance. she's in Jamaica, we're looking to get married and it was one of the best moments of my life for 2017 just spending time with her coming back home you know a lot of guys you guys gave me gifts and stuff like that on the Nintendo line and just for me to share those gifts with her see how happy she is and then she takes my gifts on top of it which is not necessarily cool but it's just funny um, me spending time with her taking her out on our dates us playing video games together even the arguments that we have all of those things are timeless and they're worth it in life you look back at it and you're like you know that's what um, life's all about you know being spending time with your loved ones your families and your friends and just enjoying life that's what's worth living for and in 2017 that was number four coming in at number three uh, number three was me and my wife actually going out and using some of the money that we raised uh, for 2017 to actually help the homeless and help the hungry and the hungry in Jamaica. We, you know, took some of the money and we went and we actually spent an entire day buying food for people out in the street in Spanish town, Jamaica, and just feeding them. We sat down, we talked to a couple other people. We spoke, spoke to the chef of the, um, the actual restaurant and we just wanted to give back, you know, and it's not about, you know, giving money. It's about physically going out there and actually helping people. There's a wholesome good feeling when you actually, you know, get the opportunity to physically help other people that you see that are in need and, and just seeing the happiness on their face when you're helping them. That's actually a definite big moment um, for me, you know, in 2017. And um, I'm gonna continue to do that in 2018. So be on the lookout for that stuff, guys. And coming in at number two was me being inducted into the International Video Game Hall of Fame. Uh, me, I didn't want to just make this about myself, so I decided to do a campaign in the summertime going into fall to raise enough money to bring a large member of our Discord community, the Empire Arcadia Discord community, and the Empire Arcadia um, Esports team to the um, video game capital of the world located in Ottumwa, Iowa. And we went down there and we enjoyed the event. I actually did a documentary on it. You guys can see that in the end card of this video and where we documented the history of where esports actually began and all of the gamers three decades before us that laid down the skeletal infrastructure of what makes esports what it is today. And the whole team, the community, and myself, we all went down there and we enjoyed that event. We recorded it and the whole nine yards. And there's a bunch of stuff that I got to give out for you guys 2017 regarding that, along with what's out there. But that was definitely the number two um, moment for 2017 for me. Okay, guys, and at number one. Now, this shouldn't come as a, sur a surprise to anybody, but it's definitely number one because it put me on the path to me YouTubing 
and that is the Nintendo Switch line where I pass the torch to Captain Nintendo dude, AKA C, wait, how does he do it? C and uh, you know something, that's his thing. I'm gonna leave it to him to do it because I can't do it. But C and D, passing the torch to him to become the first guy in the Nintendo um, Switch um, line to be the, well, actually be the first guy to get the Nintendo Switch on an official Nintendo Switch line in New York City. Just being able to spend the time with him, you know, show him how to, uh, you know, do the launch and all of that stuff. And, you know, trading experiences from what he does as a Nintendo YouTuber versus what I did back then. That was actually well worth it. We met the entire Nintendo community. Shout out to the, the, the N Team Titans and, the, you know, shout outs to Etika, Abdallah, the, you know, Nintendo Cade, um, Nintendo Cade Evelyn, um, Mason, and shout outs to Irvin, Rachel, Cindy, Mandy, Gabe, and the whole squad out there that came out there and really support the line. The huge, the, the whole Nintendo community, the Smash Brothers community, everybody was out there. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely big props uh, to Nintendo, Reggie for supporting the scene, Bowser for coming out there, launching it, and the whole nine yards. That literally, if you notice, led me on this path for YouTube and why we're even doing this video to begin with. That was, that was literally what it was about, you know, 30 days, 60 videos. We vlogged every single day of us being on that line and just having a great time with the Nintendo community and making it the very, a big, big year for Nintendo. As I keep telling CND and a lot of people, we was on that block, we was getting them switches out there. We was putting them switches on the street, D. <laughs> but um, that was the top five greatest moments of 2017 for me. And you know, I hope that you, know, you guys enjoyed those moments and for everyone who supported us and was there, I really hope you guys you know, enjoy those experiences and stuff like that. Uh, actually, you know something? Leave your comments below. What were your top five uh, moments for 2017 as the year has officially closed and we're moving forward? I'll actually read them. As you guys know, I always read and I always put those, you know, that little like, the big, the Empire Acadia logo like, heart. Whenever I use, I leave that logo there, that little click, that means I read your message personally. And the ones that are really cool, I'll respond back to. But it, just to let you guys know that I'm actually reading your messages on YouTube. So leave your top five moments for 2017 as we embark in 2018. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Later.